Hello. In today's short lesson from the Microlearning Institute, we look at Michael Porter's Generic Strategies model. These three generic strategies were first set out by Michael Porter in his book titled Competitive Advantage, Creating and Sustaining Superior Performance. Porter called the generic strategies cost leadership, which we now perhaps know better as a no frills strategy, differentiation, which involves creating uniquely desirable products and services, and focus, which is all about offering a specialized service in a niche marketplace. Porter then, then subdivided the focus strategy into two parts, cost focus, which again is focus based on the cost leadership philosophy, and differentiation focus, which is focus but with differentiated features. Visually, Porter's three generic strategies model is often presented like this. On the x-axis, we have the basic sources of competitive advantage. In this case, we see both cost or differentiation being identified as these sources of competitive advantage. Whereas on the y-axis, we focus on the scope of the marketplace. Are we offering our products and services to a narrow market or are our products and services available to the entire marketplace? Let's look first at the cost leadership strategy. And this strategy involves being the leader in terms of cost in your industry or marketplace. Being amongst the lowest cost producers is not good enough as that leaves the company open to attack by others who undercut prices and block attempts to increase market share. The cost leadership strategy, using this, a company gains competitive advantage by increasing profits by reducing costs while charging industry average prices and increasing market share through charging lower prices while still making a reasonable profit on each sale because you've reduced cost. Companies that are successful in achieving cost leadership usually have access to capital needed to invest in the technology that will bring down unit cost, very efficient logistics, and a low cost base in terms of labor and material and facilities infrastructure, and a way of sustainably cutting costs below those of other competitors. Next, let's look at the differentiation strategy. And differentiation involves making products or services different from and more attractive than those of your competitors. This will typically involve features, functionality, durability, support, and also brand image that customers value. To make a success of a differentiation strategy, organizations need good research, development, and innovation within the organization, an ability to deliver high quality products and services, and effective sales and marketing teams so that the market understands the benefits offered by the differentiated offerings. Organizations pursuing a differentiation strategy need to stay agile with their new product development processes. Otherwise, they risk attack on several fronts by competitors pursuing focused differentiation strategies in different market segments. Finally, let's look at the focus strategy presented by Porter. Companies that use focus strategies concentrate on particular niche markets and, by understanding the dynamics of that market and the unique needs of customers within it, develop unique products for that market. Because these companies serve customers in, in their market uniquely well, they tend to build strong brand loyalty amongst their customers. This makes their particular market segment less attractive to competitors. The key to making a success of a focus strategy is to ensure that the company adds something extra as a result of serving only that market niche. It's simply not enough to focus on only one market segment because your organization is too small to serve a broader market. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial from the Microlearning Institute on Porter's three generic strategies.